In this unit, we're going to cover title ad valorem tax and the annual ad valorem tax extensively. The title ad valorem tax, or TAVT, uh, is the current tax rate is 6.6% .6 of the fair market value of the vehicle. Title ad valorem tax is paid every time vehicle ownership is transferred or a new resident registers that vehicle in Georgia for the first time. Before we start going over TAVT, I want you to be aware of a term which is called functionally located. The term functionally located means located in a county in the state of Georgia for 184 days or more during the immediately preceding calendar year. So each motor vehicle owned by a resident of this state shall be returned, and that means the TAVT has been paid either in the county where the owner claims a homestead exemption or if no homestead exemption is claimed, then it'll be in the county where the owner lives, and, or in if the motor vehicle is primarily used in connection with some established business enterprise located in a different county, then it would be transmitted to the county where the business is located. So it's either going to be maybe a, maybe you've got a, a customer who has a homestead exemption in other another county, or maybe it's in their home county, or maybe you're selling it to a business, and that would be where the business is actually located. So do please keep that in mind. The dealer must accept the title application and title ad valorem tax payment at the time of the sale. So remember, you got to accept this at the time of the sale and deliver the title application and the TAVT payment to the county tag office where either the buyer resides or maybe they've got that homestead exemption or maybe where a business is located. That's what we call returned when you have actually returned that TAVT to the correct county. And there are going to be some exemptions to TAVT. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Vehicles that are sold to a customer to be used as driver educational motor vehicles. Driver educational motor vehicles are declared to be public property used exclusively for public purposes and are exempted from any and all ad valorem taxes. All motor vehicles sold to, uh, you know, and owned by a school or educational institution and used principally for the purpose of transporting persons with disabilities or disabled students to or from such a school or educational institution are exempted from all title ad valorem taxes as well. Vans and buses you sell that are owned by religious groups. Every motor vehicle owned this state by a natural person is subject to ad valorem taxation by the various tax jurisdictions to impose ad valorem tax. However, under no circumstances shall ad valorem tax be collected more than one time per calendar with the same vehicle. So your customer is never going to have to pay that title ad valorem tax on the same vehicle more than once in a year. Obviously, it's going to be exempt from vehicles that are owned by you, the, e, the dealer. Motor vehicles which are owned by you when you have a dealer's license and are held for resale have a separate motor vehicle dis, uh, classification of tangible property for ad valorem taxation purposes. Ad valorem taxes imposed on motor vehicles do not apply to motor vehicles that are owned by your dealership. You're probably aware of this, but I want to make sure and give you that quick reminder. Motor vehicles owned by a dealer shall not be taxed and no taxes shall be collected on such motor vehicles until they are basically sold to a customer and then become subject to taxation as required under state law. You know, other exemptions to TAVT, a motor vehicle that you sell to a disabled veteran who is a citizen and resident of the state of Georgia are exempt from all ad valorem taxes. In the event of the death of, disabled, of that disabled vet, veteran who received the ad valorem tax exemption, then his or her unmarried surviving spouse or minor child may continue to receive that ad valorem tax exemption. If you sell a vehicle to a former prisoner of war and they are a citizen and resident of the state of Georgia and they attach their DD-214 discharge paper or any type of other similar uh, proof of submission for their prisoner of war status, they're exempt from all ad valorem taxes as well. If you sell or lease a vehicle to a veteran of the armed forces of the United States who has been awarded the Purple Heart and is a citizen and resident of the United States, they are exempt from all ad valorem taxes. A vehicle that you sell or lease to a Medal of Honor recipient and resides in the state is also exempt from all ad valorem taxes. If you sell a vehicle to a veterans organization, uh, this means any organization or association is chartered by the Congress of the United States and exempt from federal income taxes, they also are going to be exempt from any title ad valorem taxes. Now, real quick, I want to talk about heavy equipment, just in case you're a heavy equipment dealer. 
Heavy equipment means any motor vehicle used primarily off-road for construction purposes and includes equipment whose gross weight exceeds 16,000 pounds, but does not include equipment inventoried by licensed heavy-duty equipment dealers. You know, so except as exempt by law, heavy-duty equipment used for construction purposes, which is owned by a non-resident and operated in the state of Georgia after January 1st of any year, are subject to add valor and tax. But you know, if the nature of your dealership is primarily the sale of heavy motor vehicle, heavy duty uh, equipment motor vehicles, and let's say you rent a heavy duty equipment motor vehicle to a customer, then those will not be deemed as removed from your vehicle inventory. So there would be no TAVT due on those. Farm equipment. First of all, farm equipment means any vehicle which is self-propelled, which is designed to be used primarily for agricultural or horticulture, or forestry or livestock raising operations, those are basically going to all fall under the farm equipment category. So self-propelled farm equipment, which is owned by your dealership and held in inventory for sale or resale, is not taxed, and no taxes shall be collected on farm equipment until it's actually transferred, basically, uh, or otherwise becomes subject to taxation to the person that's person that, purchasing that vehicle. Same goes true with aircraft. If you're an aircraft dealer, you don't pay ad valorem tax on your aircraft inventory. And all, you know, all terrain vehicles, watercraft that are owned by the dealer and held in the inventory for sale or resale would not be taxed as well. So no taxes would be collected on such watercraft or all terrain vehicles until they're transferred out of the dealership inventory or basically when they are sold to a customer. So you're probably aware of that, but uh, you know, the state wants to make sure that you have a reminder on that. So I want to show you, how do you calculate title ad valorem tax? I want you to take a look here with me, if you would, at the title ad valorem tax estimator. This website address, as you see there on your screen, it's eservices.drives.ga.gov. Once again, that's eservices.drives.ga.gov. And here you see is that title ad valorem tax estimator. So what you can easily do is you can enter that VIN number of the vehicle that you're attempting to sell. If the customer currently lives in Georgia and they're not a new resident, then obviously you're going to check no on that box. They want to know if they're purchasing that from a dealer. Well, sure, you're a dealer, so you're going to say yes, and you're going to enter the purchase date and the exact purchase price. And we want to make sure that you're entering the exact purchase price. You could possibly have a customer asking you to, you know, enter lower pricing information than the actual true selling pricing information, and obviously that would be illegal. So. I hope this doesn't ever happen. If you've got a customer asking you to, you know, enter, uh, you know, a purchase price of the vehicle that is lower than the true selling purchase price, don't do that. I mean, obviously, that's a big, big violation of the law. Always enter an accurate purchase price, no matter what. Uh, and for this scenario, let's say you have not taken a trade in and you are not leasing the vehicle. So easily, you know, at the very bottom there, you're going to click the calculate fees, and it's going to show you for that specific scenario when you sold a vehicle for five thousand dollars, your customers estimated title ad valorem tax would be $330. Now, I want to make sure that you're aware this is an estimator. This is an estimator. This is not an exact figure because your exact figure is going to be figured up when you're entering the information through your electronic title registration software that's also going to figure up that maybe some local uh, city or county tax as well. Okay, so do please keep that in mind. And here you can see uh, this kind of gives you a really uh, easy breakdown that shows you that the vehicle was sold at $5,000. The TAVT is $330. And then the customer is going to pay the purchase price of the vehicle to you, which would be the total price they pay would be $5,330 for this vehicle. Pretty easy, huh? And always remember, this is an estimate. The exact TAVT the customer pays you when they're purchasing a vehicle from you will be computed exactly when you're inputting that information in your electronic title registration software. But you can always show the customer a quick estimate of TAVT you know, before the deal, so you can simply use this estimator to give them an idea of their total outlay of payment that they'll have to make to you when you're getting ready to close the deal. Now, let's go ahead and do another scenario here, okay? Let's throw in a trade-in. So let's say you are selling a $5,000 vehicle and you're taking a $2,000 trade-in. Uh, so let's just, okay, we'll go ahead and enter the VIN there. Let's say that Georgia, that person lives in Georgia. They didn't just move here. And there's your purchase price of 5000 And let's say you did take a $2,000 trade-in. Well, when you click that blue Calculate Fees button there at the bottom, you're going to easily see that now with that trade-in allowance, with that trade-in allowance, the customer is going to owe about $198. 
in total at Valorum tax. Okay, so on the next screen, once again, it makes it a little bit easier here. As you can see on the slide, the purchase price of the vehicle you sold was $5,000, and then you subtracted a $2,000 trade-in for a taxable value of $3,000 plus the ad Valorum tax of $198, and your customer is going to pay approximately $3,198. And once again, this is an estimator. The exact title ad Valorum tax that is due will be computed when you're inputting this information into your electronic title registration. That's your ETR software. And so always remember that this is an estimator. If you just want to kind of show that customer, uh, you know, a real quick overview of what they're probably going to be paying you when they are doing a deal. You know, if you ever have any questions about Title Ad Valorum Tax, this is a great phone number for you. Uh, they are very, very uh, informational. The operators you talk to are going to be very informational. 855-406-5221. Once again, that's 855-406-5221. And you can normally get a hold of them from 8 to 430. That's obviously going to be Eastern Standard Time, Monday through Friday. So let's go give a really, really quick overview on Annual ad valorum tax, okay? Annual ad valorum tax applies to most vehicles that are not taxed under title ad valorum tax. Uh, so, such as trailers, you know, and it's a, a tax that's basically assessed annually. And if you want to just find your customers, you know, if they have questions about their annual ad valorum tax, you can definitely take them to the annual ad valorum tax calculator if they want to be able to figure that up. And they can certainly figure that out as well. So, uh, hey, with that being said, once again, if you have any questions, whether it's title ad valorum tax or annual ad valorum tax, you can call 855-406-5221. And I always want to give you that reminder, you know, you can review all the content in your dealer training course. Just go to georgiadealer.com at the very top there. Click videos. You don't have to even log into a learning management system or anything like that. And you're going to be able to view tons of videos. We are going to be always producing, we're always going to be producing new videos and adding new content to that website. So staying on georgiadealer.com and clicking that videos link, I think is going to be very advantageous for you when you're operating your business.